Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of September 7th through the 13th. Keep in mind the timing is still fluid, and not every reading is for you. We're going to start right here. What do we have for Aquarius for the week of September 7th through 13th? What do we have for Aquarius? Something about a completion, because I just saw the world. The world is a completion of some sort in your life. There is one cycle that is coming to an end. You'll be leaving something behind and focusing on the future. I do see some sort of public recognition as well. Uh, whatever's happening, you are beginning a new cycle. This is like a whole new you, a whole new life. Maybe even a change of residence is on the horizon for you. You may be exploring a different place to live. Passion ignited. So this is the Ace of Wands. This is an exciting opportunity for growth. You got this new vision. You got this new desire. This new drive, and this is a time of uh, something growing, probably really fast. Okay, this is sudden. It's all of a sudden things change, and it's very positive. This is a very positive energy. Um, this is an, an exciting, uh, clean slate, perhaps, you know, it's like you have an opportunity to start fresh. Uh, it's fantastic. I mean, the Ace of Wands is a, is a passionate new beginning. Okay. Something you are very passionate about. Okay, and whatever is happening, you have the op, it will grow. Okay. You can grow it into whatever you want. Um, And it's very sudden, okay, because that Ace of Ace of Wands is a very sudden, fast-moving change of some sort. Um, you got this new spark, right? This new fire inside of you. It's like you're just lit. You're on fire, that kind of thing. Blossoming abundance. Well, that is fantastic. So this is, I mean, what more can I say? The card says it all. This is definitely blossoming abundance. Uh, I mean, you couldn't really ask for anything better between those two cards, pretty much. I mean, you are, you are vibrating at a very high level, put it that way. You are on fire. You are probably receiving gifts or you're, you're, uh, something is coming to fruition okay your hard work is paying off per se you know because you think about blossoming abundance you know when the, something grows it grows into a blossom and now it's blossomed so it's time to reap some sort of reward or something like that what do we have for Aquarius for the week ahead you guys may if, if you're single you may have a new sexual partner coming in, coming in, okay? If you're not single, whatever is happening is beautiful, okay? This is extremely exciting. There's growth in both of these cards. Ooh, I knew there was changes. Moon changes in your life and it appears that it's positive changes jug light-hearted carefree time which makes sense dog protection from a powerful friend so this is great it really is it looks like you're protected you don't have anything to worry about your life is about to change in a very positive way i think we should stop don't you <laughs> we're not going to but uh, you do have some sort of protection. Your life is changing. It's going to have to change for the better. Um, that's what it looks like. Something is coming to fruition. You're going through a period of growth. You've you've been nurturing something. And I don't know. Something's happening here. Three of Cups reversed. Two of Swords. Eight of Wands, things happening very, very fast. Now, the Three of Cups reverse, i got to be honest with you, is uh, lack of emotional growth. Okay, that's parting ways. This party is over. Uh, you could be dealing with some people that aren't really your friends and you're parting ways from them. That could be the change you're going through. 
And that's a positive change. When you move, and this is positive, when you remove yourself from people that lie to you or don't support you or talk behind your back, that's a positive move. Okay, and you could be dealing with somebody who talks behind your back, a friend that really isn't a friend. Okay, I do feel as though you have been ignoring something because the Two of Swords is ignoring the truth, avoiding the truth, and it has to, it's, it's, it has to do with somebody that you uh, may have been friends with at one time. I do see you moving away from this person, you know, probably closing that chapter of your life, making a change to not deal with them. Um, terminating your friendship with that person. That's what I see. I feel as though you are making a difficult choice to do so because you want positive energy in your life. So you're making positive changes. And these positive cha changes are benefit benef benefiting you. I mean, when you don't have to worry about people that don't support you, you don't have to worry. I mean, this is a light-hearted, light carefree time. It's like, yeah. I don't need you in my life. I don't need that stress. And then you're, it's like instant relief. Um, justice reverse. Somebody must have lied to you or cheated you. You may have been cheated. Um, let's just get the rest of the cards here. I'm sure you could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with a Libra. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, the overall energy is the emperor reversed. Somebody very controlling. There's a, there's an element of needing to control. You may be somebody may be trying to control you, or things may seem a little disorganized right now. You may feel. Uh, I mean, the emperor in reversed is somebody that doesn't take responsibility, that isn't interested in helping. This is somebody that deserts you in the time of need, likes to be in control, is very entitled, somebody that is very mean-spirited, that engages themselves in criminal activity, perhaps. The emperor in reverse is somebody that is a tyrant. They, they, they are under a lot of social pressure to look a certain way, but they don't have the experience to... Uh, be the person that they say that they are. Anyhow, I feel as though this week you're going to be moving. You're going to be moving very, very quickly uh, in a new direction towards something positive. I feel like you, uh, whatever you've saved up for, you've saved up enough to get exactly what you want. Whoever you're dealing with, they're not really helping you very much. You know what I mean? They're not giving their fair share. I feel as though you, um, you're grow you're getting frustrated. You may end up getting frustrated. You're going to be uh, separating from somebody. I don't know if it's a friend or somebody you've been working with for a long time. They're frustrating you. They're not putting in the work that they are supposed to put in. It's a one-sided situation. And I feel like there's going to be a separation. Whoever you are dealing, there is. There is. There's. It's not fair. It's not fair. You're dealing with somebody that doesn't do their fair share. And I think you're about to cut them off. Okay? I think you are about to cut them off because... They're lazy. I don't know who this is, but this part, you got somebody here that you're probably not very compatible with, okay? Because of the, there's disharmony, there's a disconnection. Uh, there could even be an argument that is coming up with this person. Um, I'm not sure if there's been a third party. Uh, there's definitely been an injustice. Somebody's been lying. They haven't been telling the truth. Um, they may blame you for everything. I don't know if you're dealing with a narcissist even. You could be. You could definitely be dealing with a narcissist. Um, I feel like you will be disconnecting from somebody that uh, blames everything on you. Okay? It's like the honeymoon is over. Okay? I want happiness. I think you got this new desire to just be happy. I do feel as though... Um, it's time to get out there and socialize and stop blocking your own happiness. I think you have been doing that. I think you've been ignoring some sort of truth with that two of swords. You've been you've been in some sort of denial, okay? I think you've been you've been sitting on the fence. You you've been having to make a difficult decision. I think it's been painful for you, stressful. I think it's you've even had some fear there, you know. I feel like you've had some sort of divided loyalty. 
between maybe it's like two people it's like you've been torn in the middle you're torn in between two different paths and this week you are probably making a a decision i think you're going to make it very fast it's like all of a sudden you decide and i do think it's all of a sudden i think that you've maybe somebody's been buying their time you know what i mean or you've been buying time right while you've been thinking you've been thinking about your next move you've really been analyzing but now you've been enlightened and you know what you want to do and i think you're about ready to pounce i do feel as though um you may be even deciding to go your own way you know some of you may be be finding your your strength to just you know i'm gonna go my own way for now because i have uh bigger goals so anyway i feel like you're about to make some sort of major change i think that uh somebody hasn't been telling you the truth and you and you know it and you may and you've been in some state of denial um There may be something to do with a bank this week, too. You may be dealing with a bank, okay? Um, you may be receiving some news from a bank. Um, maybe things don't go as you thought they were going to go. I'm just going to be honest. The Six of Pentacles reverse could be a, a loss, okay? A rejection of a, I don't know if it's a loan. doesn't have to be. Um, you Or it could be the person that you're dealing with. This person doesn't have any money. They can't contribute somebody may not be able to contribute to whatever it is that you're, you're you're doing or somebody could be abusing your generosity okay there's definitely some sort of strings attached charity here it feels like you are being uh taken advantage of by somebody um i do feel as though you are about ready to enlighten them Whoever this person is, I think you are going to enlighten them. Um, whoever you are dealing with um, could be an, a Libra. Could be a Libra. I'm not sure who it is. But this is something not going in their favor, whoever it is. Somebody is lying. They're lying. You're dealing with somebody that is lying to you. And I think that you know it. I do. I feel like you know it. It's somebody that you have been partnered up with before. You 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 it's almost like you've been working with them whether it's at a job or it's you're in a relationship. You're in some sort of partnership with this person and it's definitely one sided. It's like you're doing everything while they're out having fun, okay? So, I feel like you are about to get mad. I feel like you're going to get mad. I think I think that you you know this is overwhelming for you that all this all this is on to you and I feel like you're about ready to uh show them. I think you're about to, to to say something, okay? I think that you've been, you know, closing your eyes to the situation, turning a blind eye to the truth and I think it's just about over. I think you're about to say something, okay? Um And I think it's just because you don't, you don't, you don't want to do all this work. You don't want to carry two people. You don't need to carry two people. I feel as though whoever you are dealing with is, is pretty self-centered and I think that, or selfish. And I feel like you're just, you don't, you don't need them. You don't need them. So I feel like, I feel like you are ready. You're ready. You're ready to, uh, take the bull by the horns and it's almost like you're going to be rejecting somebody it feels like we have a rejection here with this six of pentacles reversed you may be somebody maybe you may be firing somebody or saying i'm sorry but i don't want to do this anymore there's definitely an injustice here with these two cards this isn't fair you know it's one-sided You may be, you may be, and I mean, this hermit in the reverse is this is like a midlife crisis situation. You may be going through some sort of midlife crisis where, you know, you're in some sort of unbalanced 
partnership where, you know, it's just... <laughs> causing you too much stress and I feel like you just want that carefree life right so you're about to make a change it's almost like you know I just want to be free I want to be free I want to be carefree I don't want to be tied down I feel like you are uh, bringing in abundance your hard work is paying off but you got somebody else that is weighing you down Now, the Three of Cups reversed is this party is over. It's a termination of some sort. Somebody may be getting fired as well, so I'm not sure who that is. You may be firing one of your partners or somebody else is getting fired at where you work or something like that. Somebody's definitely not pulling their fair share. And I think that so the boss is going to get upset. Whether you're the boss or they're the boss, the boss is going to get really mad. Things are going to happen really, really fast. I feel like you are secure, but whoever you're dealing with is not. Somebody is getting put out. It, it almost feels like somebody did not seek professional advice as well when they should have. So something may not be going in their favor because they didn't seek advice. What is this Four of Pentacles? Now, the Four of Pentacles is typically uh, obsession, resisting change. Somebody is resisting change, right? Holding on, waiting, waiting for the right time, saving, buying time. It's like buying time, but it's time. Ah, it's time to have balance. It's time for justice. It's time to get what you deserve. So it is. You're about to get something that you deserve, that you have worked very, very hard for. Something is going to go in your favor, but not theirs. There's going to be news of legalities probably this week. You may. I'm not sure if you have to get a lawyer or you have to get professional advice. You may have to, you know, get some professional advice or get a lawyer or something like that. Somebody may be blaming you or they were lying. There could be a contract. Somebody made you or they, d they did up a contract and there, it wasn't all it was cracked up to be. Hangman. Hangman. So that is a new perspective is needed. This is about learning some sort of lesson. You're probably going to be right next to the hermit. That's thinking about what has happened. Somebody, there's some sort of uh, a need to go within and, and think about your next move. Something is going to happen and you're going to need to go within and think about what you're going to do next. This may have to do with a contract that you have recently signed. It's almost like you were taken advantage of. Somebody lied to you. And it may make you really upset. Everything is going to turn out in your favor in the end. But you got somebody here that it's almost like they pulled the wool over your eyes. And it really is going to piss you off. I don't know. You could be dealing with the Pisces. Libra. Aries. And that you may have thought of this, and it could it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, whoever this person is, you may have thought of them as a friend. When this is over, you're going to realize they are not your friend. And they'll probably never be your friend again. You are definitely going to be parting ways from this person. Once you open your eyes and, and realize, you know what was hidden. It's like they hid something from you. There could be even some messages. You may find out about some sort of messages. Maybe they're hidden messages. And maybe you, maybe you, the truth comes out about these messages or you find these messages and uh, it, it breaks you free from wasting another minute with this person in your life. I 
I think you've been trying really, 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 really hard to make something work. But whoever you're dealing with, they may not take you seriously. There is some truth in some messages. There's some messages that are hidden that you can find the truth. is all about timing. Protection. You deserve better. This is change and renewal after death because the temperance comes after the death card. So something ends and it breaks you free and allows you to be open for something better. You are definitely going to be going through a change. You've been wasting your time on a partnership that isn't balanced. <coughs> Excuse me. But it's time. It's time for you to have peace and harmony and balance in your life. So something is going to come to an end. And you're going to be broken free because there's some sort of messages. There's some sort of messages that are that you are going to that are going to come out truth that have been hidden. There's hidden messages somewhere. It's almost like you find them and it really pisses you off. Now, this is about protection. This is protection and this is protection. You are being protected. So there's something that is going to be revealed. There is something that is going to be revealed that has been hidden that is going to change your direction. There's gossip as well. You may hear some gossip which starts the investigation. Whatever is happening, there's going to be a change in your life. Something has been hidden. It's about to be revealed. This is going to lead you down the path to abundance. But I think you're going by yourself. Good luck. <laughs> 